Well, David, first of all, bearing in mind that the schools just have five minutes to show us what they can do, what would you say would be the key ingredients for a really first-class debate? Well, I think I would have a powerful argument using, if, you're, if you've got an audience and your panel, do one topic, not try and do three or four, just one topic, and demonstrate that you can really get to the nub of an argument quickly and get contrasting views exactly like Question Time does. And that is the, the best way of learning about how politics works and public life works. It's also the best way of learning how Question Time works. So that's what I would do, just get one question and stick to it. Why do you think schools should get involved in something like schools' questions and answers? Well, we began this way back as a way of, um, of trying to engage younger people in politics. That was the idea. And we came up with this idea of asking schools to do their own question times. And the results were fantastic because the people who do it find, A, that it's terrific fun, but B, that in actually doing it, they learn about um, not just having one view, but accepting that other people have different views. So you learn about what democracy is like and how political parties are all divided among each other and people's opinions are all different because you have to represent them all. So you get an idea of what the debate is about. So that was the, that was the simple idea behind it. And then it took off. And, People who've done it absolutely love it. I mean, it's, it's great for the, uh, for the teachers because they can sit back and let the pupils get on with it. Um, it's great for the sort of um, um, curriculum about citizenship because it absolutely is at the heart of that. But much the most important thing is it's such fun. It's better than doing Latin and Greek and history and French and geography and maths and any of that stuff. How successfully do you think young people hold decision makers to account? I think they do it just as well as anybody else. We have young audiences, in, young members of the audience in question time. They're always very forceful and punchy. And um, young voters question time, you have an audience that's really sort of up for it. So um, I, I think there's no difference really. I think if, if anything, they, they can be, they're more demanding because they're just setting off into the world of adult life and politics and all that, so that they're, they're quite, you know, keen to get a proper answer.